Now, when I got that letter, I, I was not going to go. Roderick. I had shared a, a rooms with him at college. A neurotic kind of chap. Lived in, a, in, a, in an ancient pile, he said. Somewhere out west. Usher, he was called. Yes. I remember he would send me postcards from his always signed Roderick Usher in an impossibly neat handwriting. But the handwriting was the only thing I was normal about the chap. <laughs> Always thought he was a bit of a hypochondriac, a fruitcake. Always looking at buildings as if they were alive. Always worrying about going inside doors. <laughs> anyway, I hadn't thought of him for a decade. But uh, well, that bank laid me off and I was at my beam end. Thinking, well, I'll make my name writing short stories. And that made me think of him. You see, when we were at college, Roderick was my audience. I would practice my stories on him, and although he was a bit of a fruitcake, the other thing he knew about was writing. I valued his opinion. And then the letter came. My dear Montague, oh please, in the name of our old friendship, do come to me. I think... I think my sister is dreadfully ill. I think I think she may die, and there is something wrong with this house. I, I, I feel I need company at the moment, for I too am falling ill. There's a, there's a malaise here. It, it would comfort me greatly if you would come to visit. Come to stay for as long as you like. Please do. Well, normally that was the kind of begging letter that goes in the bin, but... As I said, my circumstances was not quite as I might have chosen. So I uh, packed up the car and off I drove, motored out way off yonder. I arrived late. The sun was beginning to seriously redden. And I came down the drive. Ugh. And the house reared up. It was one of those strange houses. It looked half alive. As if... As if its walls were not just white as bone, but sharp and hard. As if his eyes were windows. It seemed to watch me. I shivered to look at it. And then I, I looked down. Because just in front of the house there was a little mirror. A disgusting black water it looked. That lap, lap, lapped. And coming out of the mirror and running towards the house there was a crack. It was more than a hairline crack. More than a shadow. But it seemed to be dark as shadow. Well, I stepped gingerly over it and I went up to the door. And the door opened and tall and cadaverous as I remember him, there was Roderick. Ah, oh, Montague, do come in. I'm so glad you came. Come in, come in, uh, meet m my sister.